went for a little walk out here in the wonderful woods. This hasn't been cut yet. You can see the opening out there where it's all been cut. There's a patch here that still hasn't been zipped down. A couple big red pine there. Some jack. That's a cherry. But uh, everybody's always wondering. They think it takes millions of years to grow a forest. This, is, this was cut and Mike figured the late 60s, early 70s, right in that area. So there's some big aspen going that's pretty nice. And uh, obviously if you look, it was a clear cut because everything grew up as one. And uh, you got a nice oak there. And uh, yeah, and you got some little pine underneath. So we, uh, yeah, cutting this. There's a piece down the road that Mike uh, cut in the 70s, I believe, or no, 80s, 80s, 85, 85, I'm sorry. And uh, Mike said that could get cut again too. So anyways, uh, the buncher zipped through here and uh, there's kind of a little house deal over here. So we zipped through here and cut this down because one car didn't really want to cut a around the house because there's power lines and everything else so i walked out here in the woods that's an oak right there that's gonna go um but yeah she's basically a clear cut through here except any oak over 20 inches oops about went down um but i haven't seen anything here over 20. that's not 20. um again Late 60s, early 70s, she's ready to be cut again. And uh, there's a blow down there. You know, all this dead stuff on the ground, thinning herself out. But definitely not too early to, to cut her down. And uh, it's actually pretty good. There's logs sprinkled in there, chipwood. It'll it, it'll it'll work out really nice. And it's looking really good so far. We're cutting everything with the cedar, oak over twenty. But a little walk through. We're cutting pine, and uh, I had a minute, I had to go for a walk. Yeah, see, she's falling down already. That's another dead one there. All that dead stuff there. Everybody thinks that if you leave these trees grow, they'll grow forever. That That's a ugly dead one right there. Look at this. It won't be long and that one will be falling over. She's already dead. Top's busted out of that one from when this one fell. Um, so yeah, these don't grow forever. These aspens don't. Short life expectancy. Kind of how things work. But then there's some maples in there that are pretty nice. We're gonna clear it, it's gonna look like that. And then she'll grow all back up again. There's another while they can cut her again. That's how this stuff works. Pretty simple, just like a crop. It's got a big old bad ball Jeanette maple. That's what it looked like. Zip her down. There's a nice patch out here. I cut some logs out of those two. She holds on to her diameter pretty good. They're smaller, but you gotta pick through them. You know what I mean? Pick through them. Um, 
couple nice logs in that one. So that's what you get. You get a couple nice logs, a bunch of chipwood. Every now and then you'll get all log bundle. Then you'll get no chipwood. That's all spruce. There's no logs in that. I could cut logs out of it, but there ain't none in it. But the red pine I've been able to cut some out of. Firewood. The old chipper Justin Ballard. There's a pretty Chevy. I wish you could smell that spruce. It's powerful. Josh has got his shade tree working on him right now, so he's all happy. As you can tell, she's pretty much a clear cut. Except for these big oaks, there's a couple big white pines out there. You go ahead and try it, boy. Go ahead and try me. Spider monkey jump up in that cap so quick. Just grinning up there. Bring it on, boy. Bring it on about six foot away from us. He knew better. So yeah, the spruce is actually pretty decent chip with it here. Good chip wood, that all she's good for. There's a cedar over there, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. First one I've seen in here. My bad. I haven't seen any cedar, that's the first one. Just about 